a little bit of iron, a bit of run through, a bit of maintenance and plans we got. So, a bit of a hole filled in there yesterday at our first job. And Martin and I have spoken about maybe down the bottom set in the skills area and the jump set, changing that up a bit. And uh, yeah, taming it down but making it rather at the same time. So, this corner was blown out with a load of work, hiking a load of rocks up into place wet today so it's extremely hard to hike up this unless you've got a four leg drive like Lucy yeah there's a load of work on that bit putting all the rocks on the top scraping up from the inside putting it up you actually see my tire marks from yesterday I'll tell you it's easier riding on this than it is walking on it so there's that corner nicely back in there. And next bit, we'll put a couple of rocks there for a lip in this section. Hopefully you can sort of see how crazy steep this is. I mean, struggling to walk up it. And that corner there is like 10 foot from my feet. You see doggos struggling to walk up. You get an idea of the angles. So yeah, on the outside, as it came down, it was just a rut. So I leveled the outside of the rut off and uh, created that little kicker. And we widened the entry to the turn as well. As we turn and face that now, you can see that we've got a kick, like a little shark fin, mini mini shark fin, up to the right to send you on the outside line. But yeah, also acts as a little bit of a speed bump going in on an inside line. And uh, what started that was just repairing some braking bumps that were here. This line through the bracken is where everyone will fall off the corner further up, which is quite hilarious. Blessings to them. But there you go, that's a new bit of the line there. Come on, Luce, up we go. Yeah, it's well slippy in the way. Uh, so yeah, we've uh, reinforced the top of this corner. Right around the entry a bit. Build some steps, I think, so we can climb up here. <laughs> this corner as well. And some extra dirt put on it. Rebuild. So there's enough material there to ride on again. And another one we did yesterday. Same job on every corner really. Digging out the inside, hooking it up to the top, kicking it in with your feet, stamping it down with a spade. We put another takeoff ramp in here now. A little lip basically on this shelf. Awesome comes sweeping down the mountain, back up a little bit and then horseshoes. Proper tight tech horse horseshoe switchbacks that are slippy or oh, in really wet. At least in worn out hiking boots they're slippy. It's much, yeah, a load more grip on your biking tyres. <laughs> really do. Get that draining out there. Smash that drainage in in a minute, a bit deeper with the matter. But yeah, just tiny little lip in there. We left this old stuff here to push people out to it. A little hole there so people don't cut in. Yeah, just a tiny little lip. Enough just to give you a bit of a air time to set your bike up for horseshoeing around. Hopefully you can kind of see the 
steepness of where we've just come from. And it's just basically carving across that angle of hill. Next up. Here's the way I've got to do some work. So as you see where Lucy was there, where people crashed out the corner. And then now uh, you can see whereas oh geez this is so steep to walk on. <laughs> Man, crazy. So yeah, you can see where people have gone through there, off and then down there and <laughs> stop because it is so steep. So yeah, I'm gonna dig this out on the inside and throw the hook all on the outside there and uh, reinforce that before going up to the next bit and reinforcing that part as well so there hey ho let's get to work 